Meta's new AI is game-changing, but scary at the same time. Welcome to the age of AI. We have the famous ChatGPT, Google's Bard, and now joining in is the all-new AI by Meta, previously known as Facebook. The things this AI can do is truly amazing and might even be better than OpenAI's ChatGPT, which we thought would be unbeatable. Want to know what this new AI is truly capable of? Voicebox and AI Speech Meta's Voicebox is the amazing AI speech generator that takes any text you give it and turns it into any sounding audio clips. And all you have to do is type in a few words and boom! It gives you a voice that sounds natural, like a real person talking. What's even more impressive is that Voicebox can handle all kinds of texts. For instance, if you're driving in a very crowded street and you get a text message and can't reach your phone, what do you do? You can ask the AI to read it to you. You can now take a sample of someone's voice and make the AI mimic their style and tone when speaking their text. If you have a video recording and there's so much background noise that it's hard for people to make out what you're saying, then Voicebox can help you clean up those audio clips by removing the background noise or fixing any mistakes or stutters. Voicebox can be your very own translator as well. The people at Meta call this the cross-lingual style transfer. What it does is it takes a piece of text in one language and makes it sound like it's spoken in another language. So, what's the big deal? Aren't there apps that do that? Yes, but this feature can use the same voice style, which means you can now be speaking in a different language without having to know a single word of that language. This voice box feature has the power to change the world and how we communicate with each other. It's super versatile and can be used for all sorts of stuff like personalized voice messages or multilingual content creation. Voicebox isn't available to the public yet because of concerns about misuse. The engineers behind this want to be 100% sure that it's used responsibly. Cicero AI System Heard of the diplomacy game? If you don't know what that is, it's a board game where you have to come up with some kind of strategy, form different alliances, and outsmart your opponent. This comes with an online version too. Meta recently hinted out about the Cicero, which can actually play the strategy game Diplomacy against an actual player and is really good at it. Cicero showed it can understand the game's strategic elements fairly easily. Meta even marked this as a start to a whole new era of AI that can actually collaborate with people through natural language processing, which would be mind-blowing and a little scary at the same time. AI never fails to fascinate us with its impressive possibilities. But there's always a little voice inside our minds asking us when should we stop. You've probably seen AI make do some cool stuff, like putting together sentences that sound totally human, text to image, and text to video capabilities now. It's even made its way to industries like car manufacturing. They now rely on AI robotics to streamline production. Even healthcare finds AI useful through AI-driven imaging technologies for better diagnoses. Creating Realistic Worlds Meta has recently developed a new AI that can create super-realistic images and videos and engaging virtual scenarios. But how is this possible? There's this generator. This network's job is to make new images. It comes up with all sorts of visuals based on what it learns during training. Then we have the discriminator. This network's task is to figure out if an image is real or fake. It tries to spot any inconsistencies or weirdness. Project Kyra takes this up a notch by training this generator dataset using a huge dataset of real-world images and videos. And by exposing the AI to so many real images, it gets a really good sense of what they should look like. Through this extensive training, the generator in Project Kyra can make some really realistic images that even we as humans would have a hard time telling apart what's real and what isn't. What's really impressive is the diversity of images generated by Project Kyra. Now, the AI can make up all sorts of interesting and colorful results that aren't limited to any style or category, and gives you mind-blowing realistic images that can fool us easily. Real-time rendering. What if you're in a virtual world with a mouse in your hand, you click just one button and poof! The whole scene updates in the blink of an eye and you won't even notice it. Meta's AI can now generate images from a 3D scenario in real time while you're interacting with it. You'll see all the changes happening right before your eyes. Using this super cool real-time rendering, you can dive into the virtual world. 
and the rendering is done so fast you won't even realize these are just images changing at super speed. There's just no lag that will make you feel like you're actually in that virtual world, moving around and doing your thing. Think of all the amazing stuff you can do now. You can interact with virtual worlds in a totally natural and smooth way, and the virtual world will be so real you won't want to move out. This is because this virtual world will create some mind-blowingly realistic and immersive environments. And let's not forget, it's a game-changer for the future of virtual reality and augmented reality. This doesn't mean there aren't any hurdles to it either. For this to work, you'll need a lot of computing power. And creating those jaw-dropping virtual worlds? Yeah, that takes some serious skill. And it's not easy to make them look realistic and captivating at the same time. Ways you can use it. What are all the amazing things you can do with this new AI? To tell you the truth, the possibilities are endless. You can use it to make classroom simulations that make learning hands-on and fun. Imagine med students diving deep into the human body, all in a virtual world, or creating virtual workshops for employees where they can learn new skills or practice existing ones, in a safe and controlled space. And let's not forget about entertainment either. You can create awesome games using virtual reality that lets players interact with their favorite characters from movies or TV shows. The downside. While this new AI by Meta can help in so many ways, there are some concerns about it too. Privacy issues. One of the biggest issues with this is its privacy issues. Think about all the data it can gather, watching your every move in these virtual worlds. The way you walk, how you interact, and what your likes and dislikes are, soon the AI will know more about you than you know about yourself. When this happens, you'll be tracked and shove targeted ads in your face, and that's a major privacy issue. Who would want their private data to be used like that? Safety issues. Another thing we're really worried about is the potential for these virtual worlds to be dangerous or harmful. How? Who knows what you'll get to see there and how people will use it? These AI worlds could have a slip up and end up showing words that promote violence or self-harm. Not the ideal place you want to hang out, right? It could ruin people's mental health and well-being. Manipulation issues. There are some concerns about manipulation as well. Let us explain. The AI might end up messing around with our emotions and beliefs. It could create virtual worlds that manipulate us, making us feel happy or sad, or even change our opinions on important stuff. Sounds a lot like mind control, which is kind of scary if you think about it. We're humans. We should be controlling the machines and not the other way around. What do you think about Meta's new AI? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's video, then make sure to leave us a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be always updated with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you again soon in another video.